Movies and TV Spoilers! Hi, I'm JD, this is Spoilers, and I'm here with the best of your movie news and reviews for this week. Today is Tuesday, August 16th, 2011, and we got quite a bit of news from the weekend. First of all, I want to apologize for the fact that I couldn't get Monday movie news up, but internet providers suck. Trailers for this week. Uh, so I saw the trailer for a movie called Haywire, and it's badass. It's pretty awesome. Uh, there's this girl to whom is one of the best CIA agents there is, and then she has every male celebrity trying to kill her. I don't think it's Clooney. It's someone else. Who is it? Who? Who is it? I don't know. I'm, I'm sure I'll remember his name later. Oh, well. Um... Uh, and it's just that Ewan McGregor, and it's just a badass movie. I mean, she just comes out and just beats the crap out of people and is on the run, and it looks really good. So uh, when the second Footloose trailer has been released, and it looks better than the first, less hoary. So uh, win on that one. My favorite trailer for this week has been released, and it's called Father of Invention, starring Kevin Spacey. A man who went to prison for inventing an object that people kept sticking their fingers in and losing. So then he gets out and he keeps trying to find the next big thing, but he's so behind that there's no way he could even, like, come up with anything. It's hilarious. He's playing a rock band and he's just like, Man, this is so awesome! You feel like a rock star! If only you could get a microphone with this! And then Heather Graham chucks a microphone at his head. <laughs> so, uh, highly recommend watching this trailer and probably the movie, too, yeah. So, Super Win Abduction trailer has come out with uh, Taylor Lautner, and it still looks lame and stupid. Fail. And the biggest win slash fail for this week, the trailer for Walking Dead Season 2 has come out, and it is epically long, and epically intense, and I give it a fail because I'm scared of shit of zombies. So don't judge me, okay? That shit could happen. Movie news! A Rise of the Ape trilogy sequels have been talked about and it's a good chance it's gonna happen why because the movie's baller so when Disney has announced a live-action Cinderella movie to which I say failed to they're hopping too much on this live-action train it's getting kind of old but the win I do say is Falling Skies actress is uh, going to play Cinderella, and she's hot, and she looks like Cinderella. There have been rumors that uh, Joseph Gordon-Levitt is actually going to play the Riddler. They right now have released that he's playing a, uh, a beat cop who's kind of covering for Gordon while he's sick in bed for some random ass reason because Nolan can't make a trailer that's fucking informative. But, in recent clips that have been snagged of him... He's kind of walking around with a briefcase, sort of walking around all mysteriously, and not dressed as a cop at all. So, uh, the article's point is, he might be the Riddler. My point is, have you ever heard of a detective or undercover cop? Shut the F up, but still, win. If he becomes the Riddler, super win. Wesley Snipes is in talks for Blade 4, possibly, and all I can say is, win! I like this idea. I was really pissed at the end of Blade 3 because it left it just wide open. The plot synopsis has been released for uh, World War Z, and lots of people are pissed, because it's not like the book. I guess the book is narratives of uh, a bunch of people who are kind of in the outbreak zone, and this one is just the perspective of Brad Pitt trying to escape it. And all I can say is fail. Uh, not because the movie sounds lame, but because people are bitching. If you're going to bitch about a book being turned into a movie, don't watch the movie. Because you will never be happy if you're loving that book. Billy Crystal's working really hard on the Monsters, Inc. Prequel? That's right, they're doing a prequel. I thought it was going to be a sequel, but it's a prequel. <laughs> uh, I guess it's called uh, Monsters University, which sounds pretty cool. I just hope they get some good fro jokes there on Mikey. Win. Two-part article, Bridget Jones 3 in the works. Fail. And uh, Austin Powers 4 in the work. Win! It's been nearly 10 years since the uh, third movie has been released, and I'm excited. Other people don't even know who Austin Powers is anymore, but I'm excited. Disney has put a halt on The Lone Ranger because the uh, costs are starting to skyrocket now that everybody's starting to get involved. So, fail, bitches. Make this happen. TV news. All right, now for a segment that I like to call Versus. Uh... 
we have an article called, Should Bert and Ernie Be Gay? <laughs> That's right. Um, the LGBT community is kind of uh, breathing up Sesame Street spec and saying that Bert and Ernie should be married. And the Sesame Street keeps saying, All right, so the main argument that is being laid out on the field is, Bert and Ernie should get married. LGBT community says that it would be a good idea to represent their community through Bert and Ernie. Ugh. Oh, God. Ow, what the hell? But Sesame Street says they're not gay. It's never going to happen. Ugh. Ow, mother Ow, why am I getting hit in the middle of this? And then the LGBT community says, yeah, they are. Shut up. Ugh. Oh. And then Sesame Street comes up with the idea that no one else is really married on that show, so why should they be married? Puh. And then the LGBT community says it's a good representation of their public. Puh. And then Sesame Street says, should children even have that whole idea of sexuality in their brains because kids are two and up? Puh. And they're saying, yes, we need to educate children in the future. Puh. And then Sesame Street brings out the final argument. Laying down with a giant uppercut, saying that, wait a second, you're assuming Bert and Ernie are gay when they're really not, because we created them and decided they're not, so you're kind of awkwardly making this situation worse for them and highly embarrassing them. <clears throat> and all I can say is, I gotta side with Sesame Street for winning! Benjamin Bratt will be returning in an episode of Modern Family, so I'm super jacked there, because Benjamin Bratt's awesome. Blood in, blood out, bitches. Jimmy Simpson is going to be a guy who has tons of dirt on Marshall and How I Met Your Mother, which is awesome, because it's an awesome show. So win! Erica Durant is coming to Charlie's Angels, which would be a win because she's so damn hot, but the only problem is she's dating that Bosley bastard who's from Transformers 2, so fail. I don't buy it. That guy's a loser. Super win for this week. Uh, breaking in the show that was previously canceled, starring the guy from Reaper and the girl who looks just like Megan Fox and Christian Slater, uh, is going to return, possibly. This movie at first does not sound like TV news, but we will get there. Guillermo del Toro has basically smoked out the whole idea of a Hellboy 3, saying that the creator of Hellboy doesn't want Guillermo del Toro telling his story, and Ron Perlman fucking hates putting on makeup. So, um, a win there, and the fact that he's not going to take on Thor 2 or Doctor Strange. Fail. I kind of think he would do pretty good on that. And then the win that is really awesome, he is working on the Hulk TV series. Super fail, Sex in the City may return for season 7. So I call that F for fucking fail. And there's a lot of talks in question of whether or not this is still going to be the actual continuity storyline of Sex in the City, or if they're going to do the prequel with Blake Lively. No one actually knows, but if Blake Lively gets thrown in the mix, we might go back up to a win, just because Blake's so cute. Community has hired uh, a blue, 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 to be the uh, campus security guard, and he's supposed to be hilarious, so... Uh, win! Warehouse 13 has been renewed for season 4. Fail! Eureka deserves that spot, you jackass! Picks for this week! Uh, pictures of Leo as uh, J. Edgar has been released, and I put fail because I don't really care. Modern Family Toddler Lily pictures have been released, and she's super adorable, so win! And finally, the best news so far, they've released pictures of the Batwing. Uh, most importantly, good pictures of the Batwing, because there have been sort of half pictures of it. But the problem is, uh, to make it look like it's flying, they still have to drive a vehicle underneath it. So you can't really tell what the hell it is until they got some really good dead-on shots where you could actually still see Batman in the front of it. And it looks awesome. So, uh, super win, bitches. And the best way to end this. Uh, once again, I'm JD, this is Spoilers, and hopefully there's some brain food for you. If you like what you saw, hit that like button and subscribe, bitches. More importantly, if you're interested in these articles at all, links in the description down below. As well, for those of you stumblers out there, hit the like button up in the corner there for me.